Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am here with yet another DIY and in this video as you can tell from the thumbnail I'm going to be showing you how I got these Louis Vuitton inspired denim jeans. You want to make sure you use fabric paint, print out the Louis Vuitton design, use white eyeliner that you can trace out those designs, small paint brushes, and of course the jeans you're going to be using to go ahead and trace and paint on. Now this part is optional. You can go ahead and take those designs once you have cut them out, place them on a cardboard, and you can just trace them and cut them out from there. Or of course you can just cut out those designs and place them directly on the jeans. Here's why I'm telling you the cardboard part is optional because as you can see right by the V and the L, the ending of the V, the cardboard made it too thick to where if I traced it out and painted it, you wouldn't be able to see the LV clearly. So you're going to see me attempt to still try to trace with the cardboard, but at the end, I'm just going to go ahead and move forward with the LV just being cut out on the paper. Now when it comes to the circle and the diamond shape of the LV design, you can go ahead and still use the cardboard for that because it's just a circle and a diamond that's not gonna look too fat or it's not gonna look recognizable. With your paper cutout, go ahead and cut out the inner flower in the circle. You can place that on the jean and then trace from there. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by using the diamond shape design go ahead and trace out the diamond and then cut out the inner flower. Once you cut out that inner flower for the diamond part, go ahead and place it evenly in the diamond trace it out with the white eyeliner and then remove it from there and as you can see in the upper right if you know the louis vuitton design the whole aesthetic they have the single flower without the diamond outline so that is what i placed above on the right hand side and then for the circle you can just eye out the circle you don't have to cut out the circle if you need to to be precise you can but for me i'm just going to draw that on Once everything is outlined, you can basically step back, take a look and see how you like it. So far, I am satisfied, so I'm not gonna add any more designs and I'm just gonna move forward to the painting. Now, do not make this mistake like I did by using the sponge. That's why I stated in the beginning of the video, use two small paint brushes because this sponge was just destroying my flower and I had no kind of control with it. Now using the paint brushes like I should have been doing, I'm going to paint over that sponge disaster I created to just get it more precise and more clean when it comes to painting on the jeans. And then of course here, I'm just moving along with the traces and coloring them in with the white paint.
And if you're following along or you're using this as a reference to do your own, make sure you do this first coat evenly and don't try to go over. Of course, you're going to have some spots where the jeans are still peeking through the white paint and that's why you want to go ahead and do this for a second time give it about 30 minutes to dry at least semi dry and then start again with your second coat And here is the second coat. As you can see, it's pretty much painted evenly to where you don't see any kind of jean peeking through. And yeah, I love how these came out. This is basically the end result. And I just love these jeans. I love how everything came out. Give it about 72 hours before you wear or wash them. And yes, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Continue to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and share, and I'll catch you in my next one.